So a friend or family members just moved into a new place. Are you supposed to send a housewarming gift or not? Well, stay tuned. Find out what the etiquette is. and we are going to talk about the etiquette involved with housewarming gifts. Yes, a friend or a family member, someone you care about has just moved into a new place. You're so excited. They're so excited. And you ask yourself, geez, am I supposed to send a gift to them? A housewarming or not? What's the etiquette? Well, the etiquette involved is this. A housewarming gift is not mandatory. It's generally not expected unless someone's holding a shower for their new home. And it's just a really nice thing to do. So if you're so no shower, there's no party, you just someone's moved into a new place. So the etiquette is it's up to you. If you think you know them well enough and your budget allows, then yes, it's a lovely gesture to send a little housewarming gift. Okay, now if there's a shower, a housewarming shower, then yes, absolutely. If you're going to a shower, you do need to take some sort of gift. Okay, so what would a housewarming gift be? Well, traditionally, they were something that helped warm the house. Uh, the theory was someone was setting up a new household and the housewarming gifts would be things to help them do that. Things like towels or sheets or things in the kitchen, maybe a new pot or pan or um, utensils, something like that. Help them establish their household. But today, so many people are moving into new places and they already have all of those things. To give them something like a pot or a pan or another towel, it, that's just a, a duplication of what they already have. So in those instances, and you don't know exactly what the person would like, well then be a little creative. I think the best gifts come from your heart. It says, I care about you and I know you. So send them something that you know they would be interested in. For example, I have a young friend, he's moved into his first apartment and he fancies himself as a bit of an amateur mixologist, if you will. So I sent him a few very nice cocktail glasses, something that he might not have bought for himself, but it says, I know you like to, to play around with um, making cocktails and here's some really nice glasses for you when you do that. So that was something I thought about him, I thought about what he likes, and I got online to send it to him. And you can find all kinds of really neat things online. Look for, within your budget, great stuff on sale. But sometimes you live near someone and you can actually physically take a gift. And a gift that I have loved to take to people for their first place or they've just bought a new home, sometimes I take knowing that they actually use a physical key. I have bought a keychain. Yes, I bought some really nice posh keychains. Now they're sterling silver, but they're still very nice. And my intent is to say, so excited for you with your new home. Here's a keychain posh for you to put your new key on. So when you open your door, hopefully you'll think about how excited I am for you. And it's always nice to have a really nice keychain. That's just one thing that I've done over the years. Another thing I have done over the years is a doormat. I've given a lot of housewarming gifts that are a doormat with that person's initial on it. These are things that they might not buy themselves, but it's just that really nice, unexpected something that I can go and deliver this, take them for a coffee, give them the keychain, or I got online and my friend received his cocktail glasses and he was very excited. So I hope this helps. Housewarming gifts, not mandatory, not expected, just a lovely gesture. 
unless there is an actual housewarming party where yes, you do need to take a gift and make it thoughtful and from your heart. All right, hope this helps clear that up. Alrighty, thank you so much. Please hit that subscribe button. And as I always say, everyone, please be kind. Thank you. And tell me what your signature housewarming gift is. I would love to know. Maybe I can get some new tips from you. Thank you.